Hello, uh, today we're going to talk about how to filter data from BigQuery inside of a Data Studio report using a custom parameter. It's an easy and powerful way to customize your reports. So let's look at the data we have. So let's flip over to BigQuery. So we have a table with information on episodes of the TV show The Office. So you can see we have uh, title, air date, IMDB rating, and some descriptions. And uh, let's, we're going to build a report that only wants to report on uh, certain characters. So we're going to be doing some filtering in this description column. So let's flip over to Data Studio and we'll click on BigQuery. And then we'll go down to Custom Query. And we'll paste this in. And let's look at uh, what we have in this select statement here. So uh, in the where clause, we have uh, this regex contains. And then we're uh, looking at this specific description column. And then we have a parameter here. Uh, so this parameter starts with an at symbol. And then uh, we're calling it character. So it can have any name. Uh, but it's going to show up in the edit screen in Data Studio. So we want it to be uh, something that's pretty obvious. So down here. Um, it shows up in the parameters. Data Studio knows that we're, we're adding a parameter to the query. So data type is going to be text. Now for input type, uh, we have some uh, decisions to make. So we could leave it as a text input, which is just going to be a, a regular text box. Or we can put some guardrails. We can make it uh, single select, uh, which is a, a drop down. So let's add some options. And then we want to make sure to check allow character to be modified in reports. And we want that to be shared. And let's go ahead and add that to the report. All right, so let's scroll down here and you can see under parameters, it's been added. And if we go ahead and change that, You can see that the episodes are going to change. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that if you go and change the format, like if we were to make it multi-select, the query, uh, the custom query would have to change uh, because the parameters would be an array uh, instead of a string. So that's something that uh, we'll be talking about in future videos. So thanks for watching. Uh, and if you're interested, uh, please subscribe for more information about Google Analytics, Tag Manager, and Data Studio.